What up bosses, welcome back to another video of Mooning with your man MBR. Today we're going to be looking at Safe Moon. Please, as always, do your own research. This is only going to be a short video on how to buy Safe Moon, not why you should buy Safe Moon. Maybe you shouldn't buy Safe Moon, but if you do want to, this is going to be how to buy it on Pancake Swap. I originally put in £100 into Safe Moon where I got about 2 billion coins. I've since put in another 200 at a higher price, so now in around almost 3.5 billion. They are continuously burning tokens and you get 5% of that burn, which keeps pushing up the amount I own. Safe Moon may not be your cup of tea, but if it is, this is going to be a quick guide on how to buy it through Pancake Swap. So, first things first, we need to find Trust Wallet on the Play Store. It'll be under Trust Crypto and Bitcoin Wallet. I already had it installed. You can again have a quick look at see what's going on and see the reviews. Make sure you're happy before jumping ahead with anything. Once it's downloaded, click Create a New Wallet. You could then be greeted with 12 words. Once again, these 12 words are very important. Please write them down, keep them safe, don't share them with anyone. If you lose them, pretty much say goodbye to your coins. Once you've wrote down your recovery phrase, click continue. From here, you'll then be asked to select the 12 words in the correct order. Once you're able to successfully do that, you can click continue and your wallet is created. Next, we need to open up Binance. Once your bosses get onto Binance, we need to buy some BNP. Uh, you will most likely find it on the homepage, but if not, all you have to do is click on Markets. Once Market loads up, we need to go to Spot Market, find Fiat, as I'm going to be buying it with USDT. It may be slightly different to depending on how you guys are going to be doing it, but for the purpose of this, I have some USDT, so this is how we're going to be buying the BNP. Type in BNP, uh, you will need to click on the USDT as there's going to be loads of different uh, versions. And hey presto, here it is. You can currently see the price is actually pumping quite massively. So it's something you have to actually take on consideration when transferring this over to the Trust Wallet. As by the time it maybe gets to Trust Wallet, the price could have dropped down a bit, meaning you're not going to get as much. And obviously it could work out because you're getting the altcoin cheap. But at the same time, you have to keep this in consideration that the price is currently 10% up at the moment. But nonetheless, we're going to go with it. So you can either do a market order where it's going to, going to buy at the current price or you can set a limit order. I generally like to do limit to a rare, roundabout where the price is. You can see it's kind of very fluctuating very quickly. It's going to kind of drop down. So we're going to, we're going to have a look at like try and do 298.5. Uh, you type in the amount you want to do. I'm going to buy $250 worth as I want to buy some other few coins as well. So it's probably going to pick that up. So we can probably, obviously by the time I do actually change this, it's probably going to change. We're going to do 29.3. We'll click buy. And because the price is going so quickly, we have actually got that. But again, we may be able to get it cheaper. You could stare at these charts all day long as the price is just going to go drop. Or it may go up. But that's the gamble you take buying crypto. Now you're a proud owner of BMP, the next step is to open back up Trust Wallet. On there, you want to look for Smart Chain. You'll be able to see it on the list. You then want to click Receive. It's going to bring up a QR code or the long digit number. You then want to click Copy so it's ready to paste into Binance. From here, open up Binance again. On Binance, all you have to do is find Wallet in the top right. Overview, withdraw in the top right and search for BNP in the coin list. And once you're on BNP, you just need to post in the address. You're sending it to Binance Smart Chain. It's gonna pop up with a few questions. You just wanna double check everything. If you're a mastermind of knowledge, you'll pass the test and you can click understand. From there, you type in the amount you wish to send. Once you've done that, open up Trust Wallet and you'll be able to see the BNP that you sent over to the Smart Chain. It would take around about 10 minutes. Now with your BNP on the Trust Wallet, you can now look to buy SafeMoon or any other altcoin on PancakeSwap. It is a little bit of a bull ache to do, but this is one of the benefits of getting on these coins early as they're not widely available to people. Firstly, you need to select D apps in the bottom corner. You need to look for PancakeSwap. Once you find PancakeSwap, you need to look for SafeMoon. SafeMoon won't actually be on there for most of you guys as you're going to be setting up for the first time. So what you need to do, load up a website called CoinGecko. It's a good website for tracking coins. Type in SafeMoon. It's very important that you get the right SafeMoon as there may be other projects using a similar name or similar kind of differences and where it's a scam and they're trying to take all your money. So please be careful with that. Once you're on here, what you need to look for is for the contract. If you click contract, click copy, go back over to your trust wallet, click on the two. And then if you just paste it in there, you're able to save it as I already do have mine. And then it come up with a safe moon once done we can actually now finally try and get on to buying some safe moon one thing you will need to do is if you see the little clock here if you change that to five percent you may need to play around with this number as there it's quite difficult at times to be able to buy safe as there's not so many users buying and selling all the times your buy order may not go through so it's kind of testing the thing but unlike Ephraim projects you don't actually lose the gas fee so as a test we'll type in 0.01 and that's currently going to buy 1 million plus. If we click swap, 
fingers crossed that it goes through, the price is updated, we click accept, and then click confirm swap, and fingers crossed, it's gonna work. So it hasn't actually worked, this will, error will keep coming up, so it is actually quite annoying, and I, I haven't actually found a great way to work around it. So what we could do is we can try and type in 10% instead, and again, carrying it on 0.1, I'd actually delete this, um, because the price may be slightly different. Click swap, click confirm swap, and it has actually come up again. If we try um, a different number, it's very much just trying to play around with it, as we've done there, by just changing a sl slight amount. And it's a bit of a ball ache, and by doing that, it is a bit of a ball ache to do. Uh, you just have to kind of try and play around with it again. This is one of the things that you're an early adopter, and you have to hope on by doing so that you're getting on early enough, you're going to get the most gains out of the price. We click approve, we can view it on BS scan, and you can see here the whole purchase. If you now go back onto your wallet, the wallet should have updated. Which it has we've got now we've got another million i currently have over two billion i did pick it up very early a couple of different transactions on here but my original 1.8 billion i picked up for a hundred dollars which was pretty crazy which gave me some big gains i did buy some more and the price has actually dropped slightly but the cool thing every time a tokens are burned you do actually get free tokens on top but there you go you now a proud owner of safe moon hopefully you will go to the moon safely anyway guys i hope you guys enjoyed if you do please like the video and share take it easy peace